given that you've been with, with D'Amico as a defense coordinator now for, for a while, is there a part of you that kind of wants to see or is excited to see how he reacts in-game and the adjustments he makes and how he calls a game? Yeah, I mean, he's going to be the exact same person he is every day. Um, I don't think just because the stage is, is bigger, it's, it's regular season, let's make it this huge deal. No, it's going to be the exact same. Uh, the uh, the lines present obviously a challenge for us, knowing that it's a lot of turnover over there. So we're going to have to kind of, you know, see how things go in the, in the, the first half of that game uh, and adjust accordingly. How has he been during the preseason? I mean, just hearing the signals, has been the same guy you've known. Has it been a little different? Yeah, I mean, he's he's like I, like I said, you know, same guy. Uh, him and Saul are very similar in the way that they call plays. I guess uh, you know he's. Really, really even keeled throughout the game. He's not, you know, not not a lot of highs and lows. So I expect the same during regular season. When Nick Bose is playing well, can you can you feel him on the field just in terms of the way the defense is playing and, and things like that? Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a, uh, you know, he's a game wrecker. You know, he's one of those guys that has that ability, and uh, I'm really excited to for him to get out here, have a full week of practice, to be able to prepare himself to have you know the best game of his life come come Sunday, uh, just like everybody else, that's the expectation. Um, you know, there's, there's not a ton of pressure on him. I'm not saying that he's got to go out there and do some something, something crazy, you know, or out of himself. He's just got to be himself and uh, the rest take care of itself. Fred, the 49ers made a, a financial um, commitment to you. You're only three years into your career, but with that kind of commitment comes um, maybe extra responsibility in terms of leadership and such. Do you see it that way? Do you look at guys like in the past, like Willis and Bowman, and think that's that's where I'm going to be? Or maybe even Richard Sherman, when he is here as a guy that people, that someone can people come and talk to. Mm -hmm. I've had I've had great mentors. Uh, you know, these past three years, you talk about Richard and the type of leader and person that he was on a day to day basis. That's that's how I try to be on on a day to day basis myself, right? Um, you know, I don't have to do anything out of who I am. They, they made an investment in me because of what I've done and what they're expecting me to continue to do, you know, as a leader and as a, as a, play, as a player for this team. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm just going to continue to operate the same way I do day to day, uh, work my tail off and let the results handle themselves. You've seen a lot of Jared Goff over the last you know, three years. How do your expectations change or do they change at all seeing him in an offense that you haven't seen before? No, I mean, he's still a great quarterback, uh, one that I have a lot of respect for. Um, you know, I know Jared pretty well, and I know he has a chip on his shoulder, you know, the way that it went down where, you know, he got traded, and uh, he's in a new spot now. I'm sure he, he wants to prove himself uh, just as much as all of us. So I'm really looking forward for that challenge and uh, going up against him again. Do you see yourself as a mentor now, and do you welcome that opportunity? Well, you know, that's probably a better question for, for the younger guys. I don't know. Uh, I, I try to just lead by example every day, bring guys along when I can. Um, you know, I, I just, I take pride in, in doing things the right way and, and showing guys that, you know, you do things the right way, you get rewarded. And how do you know golf well? Is it just because you compete against golf? Mm -hmm. Because you compete against them or off the field? Yeah, just competing against them twice a year over the years. Sorry about the music. Um, just competing against them twice a year over, you know, for the past three years, you get to know somebody pretty well. So I'd say the same for anybody in our division. Hey, it's game week. You got a game on Sunday. I just can see you smiling. What's your excitement level like to have a real game that means something out of day? Yeah, it feels like it's been a long time coming. Uh, you know, preseason is great to get your feet wet, but um, you know, there's nothing like regular season, especially having fans back. Uh, you know, that just brings that extra kind of level to it. And at the end of the day, how you compete out here on Wednesday is how you're going to how you're going to compete on Sunday. So I'm, I'm just really looking forward to this practice. Years, you guys have had a couple different mantras that you went with. The block is hot, all gas, no break. Do you have one for this year? Uh, I, I'd say D'Amico came came up with his own slogan: "Swarm, uh, special work ethic, and relentless mindset." Um, that's that's been his thing for our defense, and I will probably we'll roll with that. How often you go up against Lakin or, or meet with him in, in during practices? But where does he? Rank, would you say, kind of among the NFL guard hierarchy? Number one. Yeah. <laughs> no, he's uh man. He's Lakin is a heck of a football player, man. The way that he comes out and works every day, um, you know, the level of intensity that he brings to the game and uh, and p pressure that he puts on himself. You know, I respect I respect the heck out of his game and the looks that he gives us out here. I mean, he's one of the strongest guards that I've ever gone against, if not the strongest. So uh, he presents a lot of issues when you're when you're up in there. Swarm, yep. Yeah.
special work ethic and relentless mindset. Yep. Hey, faithful, don't forget to click here to subscribe to our YouTube.